Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Um, I normally play Constructed on the channel, but I thought I'd play a limited run. I've actually done two drafts so far, went 5-3 and 3-3 three, three off some bad variants, um, but the format's been a lot of fun uh, in Strixhaven, and I thought people usually ask, like, how do you draft? And, like, it's a hard answer. There's, like, it's one of those ones that practice makes you better, but I thought, I'll walk you through how I approach it. Um, I can usually go about 500, like 50% win rate. Um, so at least kind of break even in terms of entry costs for the most part, uh, or at least get some packs out of it. Um, I'm currently silver ranked, so I'm far from a mythic level limited player. Um, so we'll jump in and see how it goes. Let me know in the comments if you do enjoy this limited content. I can start trying to introduce a bit more limited into the channel as well. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to play best of one. I prefer it just for the limited. I don't really like sideboarding necessarily in limited. Um, so let's pop into it and see how it goes. Had a really good Simic deck yesterday that I just got like really the wrong side. One game I drew two lands in my opener and then didn't draw another land till turn six. And the other game I drew 11 out of 16 lands, which is always fun. But I had the Elder Dragon. I had like a whole bunch of sweet cards. Um, so there's a Snarl here, Thrill of Possibility, um, so it's cool is, um, what's this do? Oh, that's good. You get to create the Elementals. Also, I like this out of Simic. Um, I haven't done Is It yet, so I kind of want to try Is It. So Doomblade's pretty good. There's Golden Ratio. There's also the Mulder Hawk. Deals five damage to target creature. Whenever you cast spirits you gain. Um This Vortex is actually pretty good. It's unblockable if you have eight or more lands. There is Dragon's Approach. Just a, a burn spell. That's for creature tokens, so that's more of a Boros style card. Um, there's this for learn. There's also this, isn't too bad. Um, I think we're just taking Dragon's Approach. Uh, probably just take this. The Pest is actually pretty good. Now nah, let's just do this. This allows us to get some learn cards. So we have Vortex Runner. Um, Spectacle Mage is actually really good. Uh, three mana, two, two flyer that reduces the cost of our bigger spells. Um, so I'd say it's between these two that we wanna look at. Um, this is actually pretty good uh, as a lesson as well. So that's something that we hope that comes around. But I think we go with the Spectacle Mage. So a lot of green in this pack. Um, two mana, two, two bear is not that good. That's more Planeswalker focused. We can go with the lesson that I don't think is that good. This pack's pretty useless for what we're doing. I don't know. This is a pretty good card that I've worked with. I'm just gonna rare draft this. The pack doesn't really do too much for us. Uh, probably go Vortex Runner here. Probably the best card for us. So not the greatest pack so far if we look at it. We got some good three drops. This can help us ramp. It's also a pretty good top end card. That's pretty good to come. It's not bad. This is a pretty good lesson as well. I could also try to get like Lorehold Campus to try to go Jeskai. I think we take this for now though. Setting this up, you can do this and then set this up as a turn six play. There's always one person at the table. Always the one person.
This means we're going to get a lot of packs come next go around. The nice thing with these two is these can make treasures, so it allows us to better um, splash a third color. Worst case, this is like a ramp spell at times. But creating two, two, four, two four fours isn't a bad rate. We can get something. Last uh, draft, I got turn like four, so we got thrill a possibility. Um, kind of late, bad late card draw. Got another Eternal Master, 3-4 Haste that scries, and Lorehold Campus. That's one of the bad lessons. So it seems like Jess Guy's pretty open. I think we're just gonna, or uh, is it? Whenever one or more cards leaves your graveyard, deals one damage, 4-3. That seems kind of lackluster. I think we just go with this. It's just a beater. So it's a lesson, scry two, then draw a card, which doesn't seem too bad. Return up to one target artifact, one target enchantment, and up to an instant and sorcery, and up to, from your graveyard to your hand. It's not terrible, but I think we just go with the lesson here. So I'll put the lessons here so we can see them. Enters the battlefield, return target creature with 3 CMC from your graveyard to your hands. Put a 1 1 counter. In case we splash white, we can get back these things. So we want to kind of. We got our top end stuff. We just want now ways to bridge the game, some removal, tempo plays. Can't really go Grixis. The mana base isn't really supportive. Just take square up here. At the very worst, like you can cast this and curve into this, which is pretty nice. Would like some sort of damage based. Where are all the packs? Four packs. So our curve's not fantastic right now. Um, in case we... So red, black isn't a thing. Red, green isn't a thing. Still, this is probably the best one. I mean, if we have to. All right, what do we got? We got Spectacle Mage. We got a Campus. It's not bad. Keeper Guide. From your graveyard. I think we're... I think we're going with this. for now and try to just go spells based. If was paid, opponent discards. Uh, search your library for three cards. Yeah, that's garbage. So we can go another Vortex Runner. We can get this as a tempo play. 1-1 one, one Haste. Ops actually pretty good. Helps us just smooth out our draw. 
this is actually pretty good as well as a lesson. I think we go opt here. Double rare. Solve the equation, mentor. You may cast this copy if you control planeswalker, cleric, druid, or wizard. We have a bird shaman, human wizard, 3 4 haste. That's actually not bad because you can use this to ramp and then put it on top. Um, Biblioplex, if we run it at cards, isn't too bad. I think we try the Biblioplex. I might be wrong here. Yeah, we're... Okay, wait, let's see. Copy target instant or sorcery spell you have. It's a 1-4. I think we're just going to take the mana fixing here. The spell can't be countered, deals four damage to target creature or planeswalkers. This is exactly what we want. So we have Spirit Summoning. This is a nice one for a uh, learn card. You may, whenever it attacks, you may put it from your graveyard on the bottom of your library if you do XL. That's actually pretty good as well. I think we're taking this. This is actually a pretty good one. It's a defender that kind of blocks well early. Uh, and then you can, it's basically magecraft, it becomes an attacker. Whenever a creature enters battlefield and they control this turn, put a long counter on it, gains haste until end of turn. I think we want to worry about the bottom end of our curve. I think we're just taking the land here. So we can take the land. This isn't too bad. This can help us ramp or it can tap down their things. This is kind of a combat trick, but we don't have too many big attackers. I think we're just gonna go with this. So I can go, ooh, okay, so is it's definitely open. This isn't gonna wheel to us. Hall monitor, I can go vortex runner. It's a one five with reach that we can then put these back into our hand after we cast it. Oh, oh, auto picked us. Don't care so much about solve the equation. We have mana acceptance. I think we're just going with the ogre. Wow, it's going quick. Um, I think we're just taking the befuddle frog. Keep someone off defiant strike. Hey, prismary command. Exactly what I want. Ooh, I'm like kinda into just taking this as a rare draft. That's also very good. Fractural summoning. I think we, I'm doing it for the content. We're gonna try to win games. We got the Schnarl. These lines are so bad. Hope one of them wheels. Who? Stone Rain? Okay, so we could Stone Rain our opponents, which doesn't seem that great and limited. It's a pretty expensive. Alright, this one's for Strider. 
Strider Stone aficionado of the land destruction. I don't know if we're actually playing this, but colorless exile. We don't have much learn. That's the only problem. So we might have to main board some of these. We only have the one learn spell. There's probably a plan to just keep draft like a few excavated walls. Flying ward, not too bad. Seems pretty good. Shaman. We have wizards, shaman, wizard. You're probably a wizard. So we can get a couple draws out of it. Fractal summoning. It's kind of narrow. I think we're just going here. Getting a few of these is like early blockers isn't too bad. We have a lot of ways late game to kind of fuel. Uh, let's get a curate. Don't really care for test of talents. Just get a big 3-4 haste. So we can use this to learn. Kind of just like... Ward. Sorry. Dog just came back from Mock. Whenever you cast insert source spell, copy it. Da, da, da. I don't know if we want that. Needed one of these for constructed. Want to build that uh, Jeskai Lorehold Time Walk deck in Historic. All right, can I get like one learn card? Don't think we're really going to be copying spells. All right, 47. Letter, as much as I wanna play Stone Rain, I don't think it's correct. What do we have with learn? You're pretty bad. Flash two one. This helps us ramp, which isn't bad. I like all those. Can probably get rid of fuming effigy. Are we on seventeen lines? Yeah. Seventeen lines is probably right here. 
Two cards to cut. Let's get rid of a Befuddle Frog. Is this 17 lands? What's our CMC? Average three and a half. We have a lot of two and three mana. So maybe we try 16 lands. We have a lot of card draw. Also our distribution, we're heavier on blue. Too few. Do eight and five. In terms of learn card, so we have this lesson that'll draw us a card, and I think because we only really have the one learn card, these cards are good enough on our own that we want a main board. Um, if we get this, it's just a bonus that we can pull out a card draw each time. I think this is how we do it. Let's just fix our lands. Gotta get the styled ones. The success of, of draft is the nice lands. All right, let's give this a shot. So usually the archetypes, like with Simic, it's about making like 1-1 one -one counter style theme, making bigger creatures, there's some ramp elements to it. Um, there's also if you have like eight or more lands as a feature. Uh, black white is, like white's a lot of like prowess style, like with black as well. Um, there's like a flyer sub theme when things die with counters that I've seen. All right, we'll keep this. Oh yeah, look at that. So we'll probably curve out if we can and then save this for afterwards. Um, this will trigger this, but I think the earlier we can get these going, the evasive creatures. So generally in draft, I usually like to approach it just getting evasive creatures and then removal. Um, the ground usually gets blocked up in a lot of draft games, so going over the top helps. This card's better late when you can start um, getting it to be unblockable, so this helps break like board stalls. So Star Pupil, when it dies, you move a counter to another creature. So... Okay, so white, black. We need to be mindful of pump spells here. The one thing this deck is lacking is really, like we have Prismari Command and Heated Debate. It's kind of our only removal. So we're just trying to go big with spells. Swords to Plowshare. I mean, they even paid for the Japanese a la carte. Um, let me just do this. I'm not going to block anyways with this. Next turn I can go Waterfall Artist. This has Ward 2, so they have to pay 2 extra mana to target it. Opponent is running the good one. Nope. Let's go Waterfall Artist. I'm still racing the air. Next turn, I can set it up with Curate and potentially this. When it dies, if I had a counter on it, draw a card. Um, start with attacking. I think here we get. Do it like that. Just want to read their cards. 
order. Um, probably just doing this. Biblioplex will be decent like later in the game. We already have five lands, so I want to try to keep this for seven. So this just gets plus one O when it attacks. Just try to scry into land here and then just start getting four fours. I think I'm fine taking two. I don't want their creatures to get bigger. This can just help us set up our draws each turn. Choose the right side, don't want to make a token. Set an upkeep stop. Um, what we can also do with the Biblioplex is if we know we have an instant on top, we can use the Biblioplex on our upkeep before we draw to get a card. Again, I don't want them to get a larger creature. Um, In this, so this is unblockable now. I think we're overall in a pretty good position. So just play conservative here. We lose with a flurry of like pump spells, so I'd rather not overcommit. Okay, that's a, this is a very good card. We can look to just all out attack though. Because if they block here, and they have to block here, otherwise they're dead. Outside of that, if they... So we can just ward, pay three life, kill it. And then all out attack. And we win. So this deck actually felt a lot more competent. We'll see how long these games go. Uh, I might end up splitting this into like just a highlight with a couple games, uh, really showing the drafting process and playing a couple games. And then I can always share 
I don't have to do this in a two hour video. Or maybe a half an hour, but there it is. In the big game. Are we gonna become a mythic level grinder? Opponent's deck had like a lot of the setup creatures, but seemed to never really have. They had that good flourish at the beginning, but I don't know if Swords to Plow sharing the two drop really is what gets you there. I think this hand's more than reasonable. Need a land in the next two draws. He says as he proceeds to never draw that land in the next two draws. Opponents three colors. Oh, that's a bomb. So when it dies, it learns, and when it becomes target of a spell or ability. So I can do this a couple ways. I can play this out, set up, and then get six power for the following turn. I can set up my subsequent draw to make sure I keep hitting line drops, which I'd like. I think we become mana efficient here. Okay, so we only have one red, but I don't want to be greedy. I'll take the land. I don't think we're at Fractual Summoning yet. So we'll hang on for this. This is a good, like, later spell. Ideally, we hit, like, another red or blue source, that way I can go double Prismari Pride Mage. And then I'd be willing to cast this. If not, we're just gonna go Spectacle Mage. Three two flyer that learns is pretty good. Unfortunate thing with these, like them having a flying creature, is I can't really gum up the board that well. That's very good. is a combo if I've ever seen one. Um, I'm on blocking duty, aren't I? Need to go... And then just try to opt into a land. We get blown out pretty hard by a removal spell here. Death touch killing both our things really sucks. Either yeah, opponent deck. 
them getting turn four, ten power, and then basically wiping out our board can't really do too much in that case. Also stumbled a bit on lands there. That was a hell of a curve. Curate, we don't get a copy. Probably keep still. Typically don't like mulliganing in limited. Enters the battlefield, may search basic planes, reveal to put in your hand. Um, do I want either of these at this point? I kind of don't. That's not bad. That gets me closer. I can do this on turn four if needed. At the very worst, I get to copy this with Mentor's Guidance. So this gives me some options if they have a big play here. I have Introduction to Lesson. If not, I'm going to draw a couple cards. Do this pre-combat. I don't know if there's any shenanigans. Um, yeah, to be honest, we're getting pretty heavy on lands, so these become unblockable. I think we naturally kind of draw into lands. There might be a flash thing. I, I don't know the format well enough. When it attacks, put in center sorcery from your graveyard at the bottom of your library. I mean, we're probably just... Because, like, this is going to screw up our race right now. Just do this. Because then I'm doing this next turn. Then follow it up with double vortex. Okay. We're gonna just play one of these for now. Hold this up because I want these to be able to attack. And we're still only at seven. So here, if they do a pump spell, I can kill it. That's a good one. We can try double blocking this. This might come up the board enough. These start becoming unblockable following turn. Draw a lot of lands. Six lands left. God's willing. Ooh, 
lightning bolts. I will say our opponents have uh, definitely pulled out some combos on us. They can get this back from the graveyard, ping me for another point of damage. Four two flyer is also a problem here. Huge amount for us. Can God's willing again, they make your mark. Kicking my ass! Nice synergy deck. Feel kind of stupid with uh, that block there. They can just keep basically bringing this back if they want, pinging me for one. Weird sequence of why you don't play that before. Four three haste or three four haste. I think we take that. They actually don't need to do anything really except just keep bringing this back and then attacking and forcing me to block with it. Got a top deck. Gotta love how They just pull that out of their ass. Don't really have much interaction. Would love something like that spirit. Maybe I got a little too zealous with the removal. Taking the block there doesn't do too much. We can keep this hand. Pride mate or pledge mate and then curate if we need to hit a land. Also wouldn't mind going on the play for once. Fractious. So they're just going to gain a life every turn. This kind of stonewalls my team. No plays, pretty good. I'm willing to trade here. 
they offer it. Wanna just start attacking them in the air? If we get Battle Seer down, it could help us start to scry. Not going well. Not going well. I think we need to do this. Because this just becomes 7 power then. And then they just put it on something else. This having trample those worse. So I can get them to spend the turn here. Gains Vigilance, whatever, I take the damage. They gain their one, and then I do it the following turn, because then otherwise they just make these things bigger. Fractal Summoning can start getting pretty chunky as well. I think we double block here. Then if I can take this off, then we're in a good spot. I think this has more utility just being able to scry. Don't think that's good enough at this point. Get rid of Professor of Zumancy. Could play another one of these. I think this turn though. Just getting rid of this. Stupid arch. Gain them three life so far, so basically fog the full turn. Probably take the five. Summoning. I just keep the land. I can make a 4 4 this way. Taking 6. It's a very good card. I can do this. I can do this. This gives me more blockers. 
open, opens me up more to this can help me set up my draw, but I think we're just doing this. Probably should have just killed this a couple times back. I think you want to go two colors if possible, unless you get the duels. Curate's actually the better card here. I feel like they can, they don't attack. Kind of unfortunate that they got us out of range there. It would have been a great turn, kill this and then just smack in for a bunch. But if we're able to hold the fort down, we might be able to trade favorably here. Probably worth splashing for. So let's see. They get to choose the modes. You may choose to. Also, this having first strike, double strike, just really messes me up here. That's a hell of a bomb. to deal with this now. Prismari Command. Prismari Command is my oath. I have to use the entirety of burn that I have. This deck just really didn't come together with in terms of our like burn or damage. So when you draw nine lines, just didn't have the removal. Just their their sequencing of spells just kind of really got us here. Killing our thing, the indestructible, and to humiliate. blocked but there's really no outs at this point for us yeah this deck just really didn't come together 
probably shouldn't have forced the, is it? One win, three losses. Not a great exchange rate. Double rare pack, not too shabby though. So that was pretty much it. Let me know what you think. I went too quick, didn't I? So I didn't get to copy the deck list. I will see if Untapped still saves it. Um, but let me know what you think, uh, if I should have approached it any differently, and in general, if you'd like to see more limited content. Appreciate everyone stopping by, as always, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.